Welcome to the video. This video is a result of subscriber requests. Now recently we reviewed this Runcam version 2 camera and we've also had a look at how you change the settings. Now in that settings video one of the things that you could change was widescreen mode. You could turn it on and off. And a lot of questions have been coming in around well what does that mean? How does that look? What would be the best setting for FPV? So in this video what I've done is I've lashed the camera to the top of a tripod. I've plugged it into an FPV transmitter so we can actually record what comes out the back of the camera and I've popped it on the back garden. Now what that means is we'll actually be able to take two lots of video. We'll do video actually capturing locally in the camera with both widescreen on and widescreen off and we'll also more importantly see what that looks like in the goggles. So I'm going to use my Dominator V3 goggles from Fat Shark that have a DVR inside so that you can see how they look. So the first thing we'll do then is let me just throw up the recording side by side. So here on the left hand side is all of the settings without the widescreen turned on. So the main image is the one actually recorded locally onto the SD card in the Runcam V2. The image underneath it is what I can see in the goggles. On the right hand side of course then we have the wide screen turned on and again below it we have the same image from the goggles. The main issue here is the black bands at the top and bottom of the FPV display because although in the main images captured locally on the SD card in the Runcam V2 you can see we have all this extra real estate in the camera because of the black banding um, it doesn't look as good. So let me just overlay two stills from these videos with and without widescreen turned on. So here is the normal view without widescreen turned on and then overlaid here it is with the widescreen view and you can see you do get quite a bit more coverage. Now that of course doesn't mean that you get to see more in your goggles, it just means that the resolution and the clarity in your goggles is pushed a little bit. Now, in my opinion, both of these are actually fine for FPV. I would fly with no problems with both. I would probably prefer it without widescreen. Just for me, I like a slightly narrower field of view so that I have better clarity in the center of the screen when I'm flying towards things and obstacles and stuff like that in FPV. The other thing I'll mention is that I, along with lots of other people, have reported to Runcam that they need to take care of these black bands at the top and bottom of the screen when they were looking at an FPV signal. This is one of the few things about this great camera that is a little bit of a letdown and as soon as they get rid of this black banding it will take it to be one of the default cameras I'll be using on a lot of my craft for FPV because it means I don't have to bother with other cameras, I can do everything with a Runcam V2. So for those of you that asked, hopefully that demonstrates the difference between the image both in widescreen turned on and widescreen turned off and also what that looks like in the goggles. Let's keep our fingers crossed that run cam take care of that black banding that we get, which unfortunately we don't get if we go into picture mode, but obviously in picture mode on the run cam, we can't then record the video. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.